In our last video, we have discussed pituitary glands, one of the most important endocrine gland. Today, in this video, we shall discuss the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland of the body. It is a C-shaped gland of bright red color. It is situated in our neck, just below the larynx in front of trachea. The thyroid gland is composed of two lobes connected together anteriorly by a band of thyroid tissue called isthmus. Thyroid gland secretes two main hormones, thyroxine and thyrocalcitonin, also called calcitonin. Thyroxine regulates basal metabolic rate of the body. It controls the rate of cell respiration and energy production in mitochondria. Thus, it controls the physical, mental and sexual growth of the body. Thyroxine also plays an important role in the metabolism of proteins, carbohydrates and fats. One another hormone, thyrocalcitonin, decreases calcium level in blood and improves calcium deposition in bones. Now, let us talk about the disorders related with thyroid hormones. Lower level of thyroxine, that is called hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism in children leads to the disease cretinism, a disease characterized by poor physical and mental growth undeveloped reproductive organs. In this case also, growth stops and secondary sexual characters do not develop. Lower level of thyroxine in adults causes myxoedema. This is a disease characterized by swelling of face and hands, slow metabolism, low heart rate, weight gain, and lower body temperature. In this case, skin becomes dry and the person dull-minded. Higher level of thyroxine is called hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism in adults leads to the disease known as exophthalmic goiter or Graves' disease. It includes the symptoms like fast metabolism, elevated heart rate, weight loss, excessive sweating, and protruded eyeballs like a frog's eye. The individual becomes highly nervous, overactive, and irritable. Production of thyroxine hormone needs iodine. Hence, deficiency of iodine in regular diet causes simple goiter. You might have seen the patients of goiter. It is a disease characterized by collar-like frontal swelling in the neck due to enlargement of thyroid gland itself. Thus, remember, thyroid gland, the largest endocrine gland, producing two different hormones, thyroxine and calcitonin, and the thyroxine is related with energy level. However, thyrocalcitonin concerned with calcium level in blood. One another endocrine gland, the parathyroid glands. These are usually two pairs of small, rounded or oval, dense bodies of the size of small peas. Each pair remains embedded on the posterior surface of each lobe of thyroid gland. Parathyroid glands remain covered by a thin layer of connective tissue. These glands produce the hormone parathormone, also called parathyroid hormone. Thus, parathyroid glands and thyroid glands both remain attached. Both lie in the neck region. Parathormone or parathyroid hormone 
increases calcium level and decreases phosphate level in the blood. It causes the release of calcium from bone while in kidneys it increases calcium reabsorption and phosphate excretion by the uriniferous tubules. So parathyroid glands release the hormone parathormone concerned with the level of calcium in blood and bone. Now let us talk about the disorders due to parathyroid glands. Lower level of parathyroid hormone causes the disease tetany. It is a disease characterized by low blood calcium, a spasm of the muscles, we can say muscle cramps and the increased irritability of nervous system. The higher activity of the parathyroid glands causes decalcification of bones that may lead to bone deformities and fracture. In this condition, calcium level increases in blood, causing precipitation of calcium in kidneys and results kidney stones. So higher level of parathyroid hormone causes decalcification and kidney stones, while its lower level causes another disease, tetany, in which calcium level becomes low. One another gland is pancreas. You have studied pancreas in digestive system. Pancreas is an elongated yellow colored gland of irregular shape. It is situated near the stomach. The head of pancreas lies in the loop of duodenum, the part of a small intestine. The pancreas is a heterocrine gland having both the exocrine and the endocrine parts. The exocrine part of pancreas consists of a large number of branching tubules called acini. Acini produce enzymes which are transported by the system of ducts into the duodenum. The endocrine part of pancreas consists of numerous pancreatic isolates, also called isolates of Langerhans. These produce hormones. The two main hormones produced by pancreas are insulin and glucagon. Insulin decreases the level of sugar in blood while glucagon increases the level of sugar in blood. Thus, these two hormones regulate the metabolism of carbohydrates in the body and maintain the level of sugar in blood. Now, let us talk about the disorders related with pancreas. Pancreas produces two hormones, insulin and glucagon, which are concerned with sugar level in blood. One increases the level of sugar in blood, another decreases the level of sugar in blood. So both these hormones, insulin and glucagon, are antagonistic. The deficiency of insulin means if insulin is produced less, this condition results a disease called diabetes mellitus. It is characterized by high blood sugar level called hyperglycemia. In the patients of diabetes, we see sugar in urine, condition called glycosuria, more sweating, hunger, thirst and frequent urination means frequency of urine discharge increases and this is called diuresis. So in short we can say deficiency of insulin creates diabetes. However, over secretion of insulin causes the disease hypoglycemia. It is characterized by low blood sugar, hunger, trembling, heart racing, nausea and sweating. In severe cases, it can lead to coma and death of the person. This is all about thyroid gland, 
parathyroid glands and pancreas. In our next session, we shall see the remaining endocrine glands mentioned in our course. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. Do like and share this video and subscribe our channel. See you in the next one. Thank you.